Los Angeles County has been leading the nation in the number of COVID deaths for several weeks now. Just this week, they surpassed more than 17,000 total COVID deaths. And more than 1.1 million positive cases have been identified overall. One outlier in all of this has been the city of Long Beach that has already distributed more than 30,000 first doses to its residents. Well, the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic uh, in, on Long Beach was uh, really, really hard. I mean, we uh, lost um, over 1,300 people. It was a huge, tragic event for the community. And obviously it really impacted, especially low-income communities, uh, communities of color even more so. Um, besides health impacts, there were job loss and um, restaurants were closing, small businesses were shutting down, but the community really tried to come together and help as many people as possible. We were you know, noted by everyone from President Biden to Governor Newsom as having one of the best pandemic responses in the country. So that's something that we're really uh, proud of. I guess the biggest impact that happened here in the city of Long Beach, especially in the beginning when COVID first came out, um, there was a lot of fear, there was a lot of anxiety, um, a lot of the uh, doctor offices were closing down because of COVID-19. It was new. A lot of people didn't know what to do here in the city of Long Beach, but fortunately, you know, there were people behind the scenes doing work and uh, educating the, the city of uh, Long Beach residents. Here in Long Beach, we're ethnically diverse communities, multi-generational family homes. So COVID-19 definitely has had a toll on many of our Long Beach families. Misinformation spreads really fast. And so um, one of our challenges is to make sure that our community, um, first of all, um, we meet them where they're at. So we hear them out. We hear about um, the, the mistrust they might have. And then we help guide them um, to science-based information. When the pandemic started, we were actually, we wanted to get involved. We wanted, we saw that the city was rolling forward with the vaccinations and we're like we need to advocate so one Sunday morning we called neighborhood leaders across the city and we're like we need to be part of this rollout. I don't think we knew what we were doing we just gathered these packets together COVID-19 education packets so we just started going out like during the week and during the weekend and getting volunteers and just like giving people the packets and masks and PPEs. El trabajo magnífico que los promotores y las promotoras hacen fue fundamental. Creo que sin los promotores no hubiéramos hecho el alcance que se ha hecho y que seguimos haciendo, ¿verdad? Eh, un trabajo muy arduo, tocar puertas, que te cierren la puerta, que te corran, que no quieren la información, pero ellos persistentes, ¿verdad? Perseverantes de seguir haciendo esto porque sabemos que es para beneficio de la comunidad y que tal vez hoy no los escuchan, pero tal vez mañana sí. Within the Cambodian community, uh, there's a lot of misinformation that's shared. They're hearing information from their families and friends here in the city of Long Beach, but also they're hearing information from Cambodia. So UCC, what we try to do is try to educate what's happening here in the U.S., clarify that no, that's what's happening in Cambodia, this is what's happening in the U.S. The biggest success that we've had around vaccinations is being able to have a client hotline that's dedicated to community members, and our community members can call in Khmer, and we are able to serve them in Khmer. So Centro Cha has hosted um, over 30 community clinics um, in the community from March 2020 to the present. We have worked with the Long Beach Health Department to bring those vaccinations to community at local parks, schools, community centers, community hotspots where we know community members will go and get access to that vaccine. But most importantly, what we have done through these community events is not only bring the vaccine, but also bring community resources. So bring partners that offer rental assistance, food assistance, we offer immigration services, families that needed diaper assistance, right? So these community events offer those wraparound services to our families where they can get vaccinated, get information about COVID-19, and then find resources that they may need to support themselves through the pandemic. We've been a part of a lot of different community events um, where they have pop-up clinics, but we've also hosted our own. We partnered up with St. Matthews here in Long Beach. We were able to get a lot of community members vaccinated. We were able to get a lot of people to get their boosters. I would say one of our biggest successes is having those community events and seeing the community react in a positive way um, towards us. 
the Long Beach Health Department uh, partnering with the Vaccinate All 58 campaign, all the statewide partners, all the county partners have done a great job of working with the local community and especially in reaching uh, those hard to reach, particularly Spanish speaking communities, uh, Cambodian uh, community or Khmer speakers in the, in, in the city. That has been the most difficult part of this whole process. But fortunately, having really great partners has really led us to have um, you know 99% of our seniors vaccinated, uh, giving us the ability to vaccinate teachers before anybody else in the state of California. So we did a lot of things first, and that's because we had all the great community partnerships. So the Vaccinate All 58 really helped us a lot, uh, whether it was boots on the ground, passing out flyers, uh, pushing out messages on social media, uh, and collaborating uh, to do events for uh, the vaccines. Vaccinate All 58 has been pivotal in growing vaccination in the Cambodian community. And we're able to provide gift cards, food vouchers to community members so that they were motivated to come to these events, learn more about vaccines, but and also access the vaccine um, and, and leverage those resources to support our community members um, getting vaccinated. Through the Vaccinate 58 campaign has definitely supported Long Beach with really um, bringing that vaccine awareness and education to our community members. Through this campaign, we all have those tools that we need to really try to talk to our community members, listen to their concerns, and answer them with the fact sheets and all the information and data, right, that we, that we can offer. Pues le queremos decir que estamos aquí con ellos, que vamos adelante, que no vamos a parar, que estamos juntos, y que se, va, que se vacune, que vacunen su familia, ¿verdad? Y que los invitamos a que si no se ha vacunado, que tome la decisión y el tiempo para poder vacunar la familia. Es para todos. Todos nos cuidamos, todos vivimos.